Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to model an anchor in 3ds Max. It's going to be a very easy tutorial to follow and uh, I won't be any using uh, any advanced methods and uh, I'll be using only bevel and extrude uh, options. So it would be very, it would be for the beginners. Okay, let's start. Uh, select the uh, perspective view over here and uh, click Alt W to enter it. Uh, select box create a box over here and uh, yeah okay and uh, let's change the length to I think 5 would be fine uh, width to 7 and uh, let's make the height to yes uh, 8 yeah so yeah that's it now let's uh, right click uh, right click the, this box and uh, come over here to convert to convert to editable poly uh, and select this plus sign over here and uh, select edge now come to left view click any in your keyboard uh, you can click f4 in your keyboard to see the uh, edges and all okay and uh, now select both these edges and uh, scroll down over here select uh, in, select the box near the connect and uh, yeah one is enough let's slide it a little higher yeah, that's fine and click ok uh, now come to perspective view and uh, select polygon and select these polygons over here now that's fine uh, now now scroll down you can see the bevel bevel it uh, an amount of uh, it doesn't matter uh, or we can keep it yeah that's fine and come to uh, select vert vertex and select F in your keyboard and uh, now select both these poly uh, both these verti vertices and uh, select your move tool and move this a little higher yes that's fine yeah okay now select polygons again and uh, you can see these polygons were selected now bevel that again select bevel and uh, this time you can see it's a little bad so change it to make it a little positive yeah okay that's fine keep the ammo uh, i to anything you need uh, uh, 10 would be fine for me so now click ok over here and now come to front view and uh, select vertices select these two vertices over here these two and here two so now let's move it a little higher and that's fine uh, and now in the top in the front view uh, change these vertices uh, move down a little bit over here yeah that's fine uh, yeah that's fine okay come to perspective view now select polygons and uh, select this polygon over here now scroll down and uh, you can see bevel uh, bevel it now uh, let's keep the uh, amount to something like uh, I don't know just uh, I keep it like that yeah uh, 0 0.1 would be fine for height 0. Point, uh, I mean 1 would be fine and uh, outline amount to something like this yeah that's fine and uh, now click ok yeah and uh, extrude again so this time uh, extrude uh, something like this and uh, yeah ext that's fine uh, I think uh, yeah that's fine let's make it a little smaller so just do it like this yeah and with the uh, select an uniform uh, tool okay now that's fine now click bevel over here again uh, let's be I'm sorry let's bevel this I to something like this and uh, make it a little large larger like this and uh, move I to uh, let's make it I think 20 would be fine uh yeah 20 yeah that's fine uh, fine for now so okay yeah that's fine now come to front view and uh, select vertices vertex and uh, select these vertices over here and move this somewhere over here uh, that's fine uh, now come to perspective view and uh, you can see the base is almost formed uh, formed yeah but there's still work to do so select polygon and uh, scroll down over here and uh, select bevel 
this time let's bevel it somewhat like uh, a little height and uh, let's make it a little larger it could depend upon uh, what you're expecting to do with it so uh, you can do with any uh, shape you want uh, i think this would be fine for me so yeah that's fine uh, something like this yeah okay and uh, give okay now uh, yeah that's fine so now select edge and come to left view click any of your keyboard and select these uh, edges i mean these two edges and uh, <clears throat> scroll down over here click connect uh, yeah uh, slide yeah slide would be let's make it zero uh, i think 21 would be fine uh, like before yeah so give it 20 and uh, select polygons and come to perspective view again now select this polygon and uh, and this polygon now yeah select both these polygons and uh, now come over here select bevel uh, we'll have to be beveling it so give any amount you need uh, you'll see what this uh, shape is uh, and that's fine for now uh, and uh, let's make it a little smaller the outline amount and uh, now give ok and that's fine now select edge again select these uh, four edges and these four edges too so and uh, now come over here and give connect now you'll have to be connecting it uh, give uh, let's change the uh, slide make it somewhat over the edge leave this much of space over there now that's fine now give ok now select polygon select this polygon over here the one in the uh, in the bottom of the uh, box over here and the another over here so that's fine now come over here and give bevel uh, as you can see there's this uh, a shape of uh, uh, anchor maybe and uh, yeah that's fine it would be uh, it would be cool if it's uh, over here so I made it like that and give ok now yeah that's fine now come to front view and move over here and now select vertex and i think it would be better if it's a little over here yeah that's fine and uh, let's make it a little smaller yeah and this and this vertex too some somewhat over here yeah that's fine and uh, let's make this smaller too select these two vertices over here and uh, select scale tool make it smaller yeah that's fine and uh, here too Yes, that's fine so uh, come to perspective view and uh, you can see what you have done uh, but it's not finished yet for me so let's select it over here the polygon in the top scroll down and uh, you can be seeing seeing bevel uh, select bevel over here and make it something like this uh, something like this would be fine minus 0 0.8 uh, yeah okay and uh, give okay now bevel again this time bevel it somewhat uh, with some more height and uh, this to make it more positive than the last one okay and uh, bevel again uh, change the amount a little more yeah okay and bevel again so as you can see i'm using a lot of bevel uh, uh, in most of the modeling we'll be using a lot of uh, modeling in 3ds max uh, and that's fine and now bevel again uh, this could be the last uh, bevel and yeah uh, yeah that's fine now come to front view again we'll have to be changing some shapes so uh, come over here select vertex and uh, select these two vertex, vertex and move it somewhat like here and these two and yeah, that's fine and uh, yeah that's uh, that's good now you'll see what uh, what it's done over here so come to perspective view and uh, select uh, editable poly uh, and you'll be uh, exiting it so now come come over here to create tab and uh, in standard primitives select tube come to front view and uh, just drag your mouse over here 
uh, and yeah that's fine yeah okay and come to perspective view and uh, select uh, this tab over here and let's change the radius one to somewhat like uh, I think four yeah four is fine and uh, radius two to four to uh, uh, no I think five would be fine uh, let four point five maybe yeah that's fine uh, now select uh, let's change the height make it smaller somewhat like uh, I think uh, 0 0.2 uh, I think 0 0.4 no I think 0 0.3 would be fine yeah okay and let's uh, reduce the height segments yeah that's fine uh, and come to left view and uh, uh, F3 if you need and just uh, place it over here somewhere over here yeah that's fine and uh, come to perspective view click F3 again to exit that view and yeah that's fine a little maybe over here yeah so and I think uh, we can reduce the size so select this size tool and uh, make it smaller yeah that's fine and just place it over here again yeah that's fine now let's change the bottom uh, select the uh, select the anchor and select polygon now just go down there and uh, select this polygon over there and uh, let's bring it a little higher yeah that's uh, yeah that's fine now bevel this time bevel it somewhat like this uh, 4.5 maybe and uh, uh, yeah okay that's fine uh, minus minus 2 and uh, 4.3 yeah so that's fine uh, yeah okay that's fine and let's uh, make it smaller in x-axis and yeah, that's fine so here we have an anchor over here you see uh, the uh, wildly shaped anchor so uh, thank you for watching guys and please uh, remember to subscribe my channel